for me, being a part of the Dhaka project was or is still the biggest challenge of my career, which I think anyone would like to win. But once you know all the hard work that you need to put in to get there, I'm sure many would give up before they try. You know, 14 days and every day is early wake up, late to bed and a lot of kilometers. So you can't win by luck, you win by skill, by experience, by attitude and, and having the right mindset. Yeah, last year's uh, Dakar for the Audi team and uh, myself was pretty tough. We went there with high expectations, but didn't get the result we wanted. We felt that we were pretty sorted. We had smaller issues in my car. Then Stefan and Carlos had the big crashes where both of them got out of the contention for the, for the win as well. Dakar doesn't forgive anything. You have to have those two weeks of really smooth sailing and no issues. Now it's time for another try. Done all the homework we can and hopefully it's enough to go there and win the rally this time. I think we're a bit more humble, but also way better prepared. Dakar, it's one of those big races in motorsport like Indy 500 or Le Mans where everybody cares about the person that won and nobody cares who finished second or third. We are going testing now in Saudi. So this test is the first real big test leading up to Dakar 24. So a few months after Dakar, it's actually very nice to go testing again, meet the team and uh, start preparing for our dream that is go and win the Dakar. I have never wanted to be realistic with my targets because if you would follow statistics, it gets a boring uh, result that always the rookies will lose. When I arrive now, uh, Carlos has been doing two days and uh, Stefan is just about to start. Four months after we are here, we are back in the same place uh, of the start of the Dakar, so close to the day one and two, the Dakar 23. We have a few days in front of us and we will be able to, to check the problems we had. That's the aim of this first test of the year. A small mistake, a small thing forgot can be a disaster during the rest. Really important test for everybody, for myself and for the future of, of the Dakar. I think the concept of the RSQ e-tron was proven the first year that it runs. It's driven by electric engines. The battery is charged by an energy converter. The technology, I think nobody's talking about because now it feels like it's been there forever. So now it's just to fine tune all the other small items around it. For me, this test is all about understanding why we got punctures in places we didn't expect to get them. What did we have to change? One, on the driving, and secondly, on the, on the setup of the car, and third, is there a tire that can handle it better? It's not to make our best days greater, it's just to reduce our bad days. And that's where the whole team spirit will be focused on, is to try and understand our weakest link in the chain make some adjustments, then you go and try again, and try again, and try again. The Dakar has a bit of everything. You have uh, open terrain, you have roads, but more rocky like this one, you have sand, dunes, so for sure you have to be prepared for everything. It's quite healthy just to have a walk and see the stones. Feeling when I see one of those and you hit on the wrong spot. Yeah. I mean, I do understand if you get this just on the wrong spot. Yeah. Nothing better to test in the in the real field, having real inputs uh, for for the tires. I drove as quick as I dared. Full attack again. The car is doing this shaking a lot. Yeah. It's a vital part of the development that everybody understands where the limiting factors are for us on such rough conditions. Matthias came back. His body language was like, "We are not there at the moment." But that's important because then we all know this is something we have to work on. Open bump now, and then rebound there and come Open the down on top. Let's go. Uh, over these rumbles, I would say from the 100% problem, I would say this is 50%. So I feel much more confidence now. 
a big step in the right direction. So that makes me quite happy, even though racing is racing, testing is testing. Motorsport will always have a little bit of different ingredients. There is some timing, there is some luck, but I think the majority is skill, experience and knowledge. We are very different now as we were when we came the first time. There is always something to learn. The more you do, the more you learn. We are becoming better and better from race to race, from rally to rally.